Princeton, the defending Ivy League champions two years ago. This is how it happened. Travis Stefanik getting the late reversal in the final moments, adding in some back points along the way and what was arguably the biggest sequence in modern Princeton wrestling history. And Stefanik, he's on the mat against Trent Hidley now. And uh, Ryan, obviously, this uh, could be quite the big matchup here. Yeah, this is another one that I had starred. A couple of Pennsylvania state champions, obviously, Trent Hidley picking up a couple of state titles. And he's back off of a uh, All-American finish where he was a runner-up at NCAAs last year. Stefani, uh, getting a couple of at-large bids as he's a two-time qualifier. And right to that underhook, trying to jack it up is Hidley as they work their way to the edge of the mat. And if try and get back in bounds here is Stefani. But yeah, this, this is going to be a big one here, specifically for Stefanik. It's a proving ground for him to, to really showcase that he's, you know, still that guy and, and, and can be, you know, kind of a, a rock in, in the lineup here for Princeton. As you see in the rankings, Hively's third, Stefanik 22nd. So far, no score. Travis Stefanik in his Princeton career, 34 and 20. He qualified for the NCAAs at 174 in 2019, and then he was set to compete in the NCAAs in 2020 before the COVID pandemic took a chance to compete in the tournament. As a takedown here awarded for Trent Hidley, who undefeated so far this season, is 6-0, but 90, or sorry, 39 and 6 in his NCAA state career so far. Yeah, Trent Hidley is as advertised. And, you know, we, we talked about his brother, Hayden, in the last match as he just came up with a tech fall uh, in the final seconds with that takedown. They have very similar offenses, but I would say Trent is a little bit more of the all gas, no break than, than Hayden is, especially when it comes to the pressure that he puts on people with that underhook. He's not shy about using it whatsoever. As, you know, as we said, Hayden opens up his offense a little bit more with the, some differing attacks. Trent gonna come out he's gonna jam that underhook and he's gonna drop down to the leg but he also has some of those other attacks from from the outside hopefully we get a chance to see them here today before being an ncaa finalist in 2021 trent hidley was in all america in 2020 just given his position obviously couldn't compete for tournament action but uh those, those top spots ended up getting all america honors as travis stefanik gets an escape and certainly, Trent's got to be hungry. He, he was right at the doorstep uh, during the spring and last year. And stall warning here called against Travis Stefanik. Trent Hidley is working through right now, trying to keep the business up. Yeah, Hidley firing off an attack on the edge of the mat, getting that that uh, that stall warning. He's going to pick up two more. But as you said, he was he was right there on the cusp of a victory in the NCAA finals against Aaron Brooks. Came out on the short end of a 3-2. It was a 3-2 loss. Uh, but he, you know, was right there. So, you know, fully expect a guy like Trent to, to come back very, very strong as he's looking to pick up a couple points here with a toe in uh, on the edge of the mat. There haven't been too many back points since uh, we saw it at 133 with Trombley and 141 with Jack. Tried to get one there, but you see another look at the takedown for Trent Hidley, who's leading 4-1. Yeah, his brother Hayden picked up a couple off of a tilt. That's yeah, pretty much it since 141. Basically been it. Not, not a lot of back points in the entire duel. 30 seconds first but it has been NC State who's had the upper hand, as you see the team score 28-3. to Just a little bit more polished, a little bit more deep than Princeton this afternoon and and for the tigers it wasn't just having that one year away with the ivies but obviously graduations the likes of matt kolodzik and patrick brucky stand out you still have six uh, that of the top wrestlers returning for the tigers this year as we have the first period come to an end but it's still the tigers trying to find that that third fourth fifth guy that moves up to the top 10 with the likes of patrick glory and quincy monday yeah hopefully glory can get back on the mat soon and he recovers from from the the injury uh trent hardly gonna go with an optional start here to start the second 
Put a little pressure here, being a little patient, not putting himself in a bad position. Is Stefanik as he's up and out for one. Travis Trying to get those feet moving here. Is Stefanik. 4 2 is our score. Trent putting some more pressure on. There is a stall warning on Stefanik so far. He definitely has to get that offense going if he's going to get any sort of lead here. Trent. Digging this underhook here once again, dropping down. A position that Trent is, is very familiar with as a guy who works off the underhook the way he does. So far, Hadley keeping that left foot well within bounds, even that right foot inbounds. So he has room for the two, he gets it. Good methodical um, takedown there by, by Hadley. Shelf that foot, kept that ankle off the mat was able to limp arm out from, from the underhook that he had and then uh, reach across and, and cover the hip of Stefanik. So 6-2, minute 39 of riding time here for Hydley. Not quite yet at securing that, but if you're Stefanik, the only way you can take away that riding time point is either getting a takedown or being on top in the third, but he's gonna need some points take down, escape, reversal to try to get back in this one. Stefanik to his feet, gets the escape, makes it 6-3. Yeah, Stefanik's going to have position. to get his offense going, for sure. He hasn't really fired off any shots. It's been a lot of pressure here from Trent. And as I said, it's it's tough to weather that storm. Trent is is a forward. He's, a, he's more so all gas, no break type of guy where he wants to put that pressure on you. He wants to smother you. He wants to get you on the edge. And, you know, continue to push and push and push. He's in your face all the time. It just never stops. As you see, right off the whistle, he's right back on Stefanik. Stefanik right back, uh, getting hit with another stall warning. That's going to be a point as Trent drops down to the ankles and scores another takedown. So three more points going to go on the board here for Hydley. And he's up 9-3. Could be in line for a major decision if he gets a few more points here. And he might try to do it with the seconds. tilt, but... Not really enough room to fully turn that over. Pretty savvy out there by Trent, keeping that, keeping the leg extended and looking for a tilt. And Trent going to go underneath here to start the third and final period with a 9-3 lead and 2:15 of riding time. Uh, Nate Jackson, it's obviously been a bit frustrating for him as the acting head coach, but all the credit really to NC State. They just top to bottom have looked so polished in this dual meet. And nice reversal there. Very nice switch there by Trent on the edge of the mat. NC State. So highly firmly in control here. He's soon going to have that running time point in the pocket as Hydley. He's going to opt to on the restart. Yeah, going optional start here. Second time he's done this. Going to cut Stefanik loose. Just going for the formality. Stefanik taking his time. He doesn't want the shot right away to be bearing down on him and as a result now kind of eyeing things up Trent Hydley and now that riding that riding time point has been locked in so as it stands it's 11-4 but that 12th point in the books for Hydley gonna get another stall warning and another point there for Hydley North Carolina State. That makes it 12-4 already now. Again, major decision right now is where things are projected unless Stefanik is able to get some what sort of takedown in this final minute. Hardly, though, still the aggressor in this one and kind of business per usual. Another, another stall warning coming. That's two points. I believe that was the fourth time he's been called for stalling one time was a warning then twice individual points there two points so now 14 for the high lead lead and there's the first shot for Stefanik he I think it kind of surprised him that he got to the foot but you know, he just kind of stopped his momentum as soon as he got there 30 seconds in that sense it's almost kind of just like like you said weathering the storm but 
worth really the kind of just, I guess, running out of ideas because of how much Hadley's been pushing things forward. You got to meet pressure with pressure here. You've been hit with stalling, giving up two points when it comes to, to all those stall warnings. So you have to meet pressure with pressure. And, you know, I, I'm not saying blindly fire off shots, but, you know, it's, it's late. It's late in the match already. You have to start putting some sort of offense together to just stave off some any of those these stall warnings. He fires off another shot. Re-attack there by Hydley. And there's another takedown. Trent Hydley, North Carolina State. Two more points there for Trent Hydley. He'll finish with a 17 to 4 major decision. So that adds on another four for NC State. 32 to 3 with the final match of the dual mate coming up and then a little of the cupping of the ear from Trent Hydley. There were, I think, a few uh, staff members there who might have been in her something trying to urge on Princeton. And then you kind of have that almost yearning for fans, I think, if you're Trent Hydley. You want to have some fans there to kind of feed off of on the road. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see his, his normal raise the roof after a win. Uh, just, just a couple.